large city and in the territory on west, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. <laughs> Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The story of the violence that moved west with young America. The story of a man who moved with it. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. Marshal. Marshal Dillon. Over here, son. What's the trouble? Marshal. Why, uh, that's Will Thompson's young and Mr. Dillon. What is it, kid? What's wrong? Yeah. Mom. They burned our house. Got the fences. Four of them. My sister. My sister. They, they, they rode in and shot He's been shot. Hold that lamp down here, Chester. Yes, sir, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, blood all over the back of his shirt. Will Thompson, he's a homesteader, isn't he? That's right. Came to Dodge City about three months ago. Took up a section over on Mulberry Creek. Yeah. Mr. Dillon, you want me to go get the doctor? No. Boy doesn't need a doctor now. Burned the house is right, Mr. Dillon. It's still burning. Yeah, what's left of it is. Watch yourself now, Chester. Yes, sir. No sign of life, though. Whoever did it's probably long gone by now. Mm. No reason to hang around. Well, let's tie up here and look around on foot. Bring up your carbine, Chester. I got it, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, they even fired the corn crib. Now, why would anybody want it? What's there? What is it? It's a dog. Shot. A dog? When they even shoot the dogs, it's a... You see something? Yes, sir. It's Will Thompson. I think it's Will. What do you mean, you think it's Will? Scalped. You was Indians, Mr. Dillon. I couldn't have been Indians. Only tribe reported in 20 miles the Kiowas, and they wouldn't do anything like this. They've been peaceful for years. Yeah, I don't know, but... Come on. Like... Let's find out what happened to the rest of the family. Yeah. Besides Will and the boy who rode into town, there's Ms. Thompson and a daughter. A girl about 17, pretty as a picture. Yeah, there's something lying over there by that cottonwood. Yeah, I see Well, I guess we found Will's wife. Uh, she's alive. Yeah, if you can call it that. Scott around and take a look for the daughter, Chester. Yes, Mr. Uh, uh, it's all right, Miss Thompson. It's all right. It's all right. Mary. My, my daughter... Took her and dragged her away. Dragged her away. Easy, man. Easy. Now. I, I, I tried to stop them. I held on to one of them. He kicked me loose. And he, he spit. 
spur came off. It's here, somewhere. It's on the ground, somewhere. On the ground. Yeah, I see it. My daughter. I took care of her. My baby. There now. My baby. There now. It's all right. We'll find her, ma'am. We'll find her and then... Miss Thompson? Well, you're better off, ma'am. Mr. Dillon? Yeah. Over here in the willows. I found her. All right, Chester. Pretty as a picture. Seen her in Dodge. Walking down Front Street. Pretty as a picture. Yeah. All right, let's ride. <laughs> Branch first, and if Alisco Pete's not there, we'll try the other saloon. I bet his boss is here. He's here every night. Yeah, I know. Follow me in, Chester. Just keep him off my back. I'll take care of the rest of it. Yes, sir. Good luck, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, thanks. Well, look who's here. Matt Dillon. Hiya, Kitty. What brings you in, sweetie? Business? Or pleasure? It's not pleasure. Ah. Plenty of other men in Dodge, Kitty. Are they? They come in here, don't they? Sure. They come in. I talk to them, and I drink with them. That's my job. You follow me, Matt? I follow you. I'm off at two every night. Kitty, have you seen Jalisco tonight? No. He hasn't been in, Matt. Ben Rourke's sitting over there at a door table, though. Good, I'll talk to him. I'll see you, Kitty. Sure, Matt. Sure you will. Oh, I think I got a pretty good hand here myself. Well, let me in a All right, boys, here's where money talks. I'm raising another hundred, and I'll stand pat. Ben? Huh? Well, it's the marshal himself. I'd like to talk to you, Ben. All right, Matt, talk. Not here. We'll go over there by the bar. I'm sorry. I'm busy. I got a fat hand and a cinch back. Maybe. This is official, Ben. Me? Me and I want to talk to you. Now, come on. Take over my hand, Donnelly. I'll be right back. All right, Matt, let's have it. What do you want to talk about? One of your cowboys, Ben. Let's go, Pete. What about him? Know where he is? Around somewhere, I guess. Why? I'd like to know if he lost his spur recently. Tonight, in fact. It's pretty, ain't it? Mexican silver, needle point, raw gold inlay. Pete's the only man I know in Dodge who's got a pair like this. All right, I'll see that Pete gets it. He'll appreciate your finding it. I doubt that. I found it lying beside a woman he'd just kicked to death. Will Thompson and his whole family were wiped out a few hours ago by four night riders. You know anything about it? How would I know about it? Your boys call you King Rourke, don't they? Never heard of one of them pulling anything without being sure you'd back him up. Matt, are you claiming I was in on this? You're a cattle rancher, been an open range man. You boys all hate the homesteaders coming in with their plows and fences. Been a lot of fences cut by night riders. No, it's murder. You haven't named me yet, Matt. A couple of months ago, here in the Long Branch, I heard you say you'd get the homesteaders out of Ford County if you had to burn them out. Well, did you? Sometimes a man gets known as a fast gunslinger and it goes to his head. I asked you a question, Ben. Then he gets himself a tin star and goes around bothering people. Ben, if you're figuring to draw on me, don't. Why not, Matt? I've seen you in action. You're not fast enough. 
Now, I asked you a question. And maybe I don't feel like... What's going on in here? Nothing. Oh, there you are, Marshal. How are you? <laughs> Marshal, what's this I hear about an Indian uprising? There's been none that I've heard about. Whole family massacre, the way I hear it, sir. Murdered and scalped. Scalped? Two of them were. So it was Indians. What game are you playing, Matt? Indians don't cut fences, Ben. That's a cattleman's trick. Scalping, too? Could have been an afterthought. It wasn't an Indian who lost that spur. Well, we'll soon find out about it. I'm riding into the Kiowa country with Troop C tonight. I hope you won't do that, Colonel Blake. You know the Kiowas are peaceable enough when you let them alone, but if you push them, they'll fight. True enough, Marshal. We can't let them get away with it. The Indians weren't responsible, Colonel. I got evidence to the contrary. Give me 24 hours and I'll prove it. Well, I certainly don't relish stirring up a tribal war, but... Just 24 hours. Well, all right. Ben, if you know where Jalisco is, you better turn him in. It'll save trouble. When any of my boys need discipline, I take care of it. Not this time. Other people are involved. Homesteaders. Squatting on a measly 320 acres apiece. Ruining the whole country. They got rights, Ben. Who says so? I do. Good morning. Any luck, Chester? No, sir. I just stopped by the jail here to see if you'd found it. I wish I had. I'll head out again in a few minutes. Oh, this fellow's been waiting for you all morning, Mr. Dillon. Is that so? My name's Ezra Hawkins, Marshal. We ain't met before. I got a homestead up the river. It don't leave me much time to get to town. I see. Well, what can I do for you, Mr. Hawkins? Well, it's about what happened to the Thompson family last night. The other homesteaders sort of appointed me to speak for the whole bunch. All right, speak. Well, we want to know what you aim to do about it, Mr. Dillon. I aim to get the killers. When? Mr. Hawkins, I've been up all night trying to get an answer to that question. If you've got any information to offer, fine. If you haven't, then... What's up, Chester? A trail herd hit town, I guess. Hey, pull up, boys. Pretty side, Dodge City Jail. Come on, let's decorate it. Let's go, Chester. Yes, sir. All right. Hold it there. Hold it. My, my. Jail is occupied, boys. You men just blow into town. You ain't talking to men, Sheriff. These are curly wolves from the circle far feet. They're rough and stuff as off in the pan. And you're not talking to the sheriff. I'm the U.S. Marshal. You the range boss? That's right. Red Dudley. What about it? Dudley, we got a new law here against shooting off firearms inside the city limits. Yeah? You mean like this? <laughs> no, Dudley, I mean more like this. Now, come on down off that horse. Watch it, Mr. Dillon, he's got a knife. Yeah, so I see. Well, nice work, Mr. Dillon. Drag him in and lock him up, Chester. Throw some water on him. Yes, sir. All right, curly wolves. Your boss is jailed and fined fifty dollars. You can get him out tomorrow morning. We got the money, man. Hold him now. I said tomorrow. Now on the move. All of you, get. You handle things right fine, Marshal. Once you get started. Thanks, Hawkins. Only trouble is some of us homesteaders are getting kind of impatient. The cattle ranch has been treating us pretty bad for too long. The boys are all meeting at my place today. I reckon I can hold them back till tonight. You know what I mean, Marshal. Yeah. I saw it happen in Abilene, dirty and bloody. I'd hate to see it happen here. Sure, I know what you mean. Range war. Well, I 
sure we can hold an inquest any time now. I'm all finished with the autopsy. All right, Doc. It goes pretty fast when you can line them that way, four in a row. Makes the job a lot easier. Yeah, I imagine. Doc, have you ever seen a range war? No. I hear there's one boo. There is. Plus Indian trouble. If I don't bring in Jalisco Pete before tonight and find out who his three partners were, you're going to have bodies lined up 20 in a row. Well, it should bring in a lot of fees. I could retire and buy myself a ranch. Sure, Doc. Oh, boy. Oh, that sounds like Chester, Marshal. Yeah, he's been scouting those thickets along the river bottom. Mr. Dillon, I brought in Jalisco. Where is he, Chester? Outside, tied on my pack mule. Good. No, sir. I'm afraid it ain't so good. He's dead. Been shot in the back and scalped. <laughs> We will return for the second act of Gunsmoke in just a moment, but first, CBS Radio, in cooperation with Time Magazine, makes available to you, free of charge, a valuable convention handbook, packed with facts and sidelights about American national political conventions. This convention handbook, containing a convention map and box score of interesting pictures and a complete history of this old American custom, will be yours if you send a postcard with your name and address to Time, CBS, Chicago 90, Illinois. That's Time, CBS, Chicago 90, Illinois. And now, with William Conrad starred as Matt Dillon, here's the second act of Gunsmoke. Second now, Martian. Here, here, here it comes now. Ah, ah. Ah, there's the bullet. If it'll do you any good. It won't, Doc. Uh, the slugs I dig out of the bodies all look alike. Someday, though, they may figure a way to tell them apart. Maybe even tell which gun fired which bullet. Oh, no, not a chance of it, Marshal. Well, I guess that's all I can do for the late lamented. Oh, you see he's only wearing one spur. Yeah, I know. I got the mate to it here. That's what I wanted to talk to him about. Uh, it's too bad, Marshal. His talking days are over. Yeah, somebody made sure of that, all right. Then tried to cover the trail by scalping him. Well, I can tell you one thing. It wasn't done by Indians. That's my guess, too. I've seen how Indians do it. Down in the territory, up in the Dakotas. Slick and clean. Nothing like this. Why, <laughs> I could do a better job with my eyes closed. Yeah, I bet you could. Well, I guess I'd better get ready for the rush. Looks like a showdown, Marshal. And I don't see any way that you can stop it. Neither do I. Hiya, Kitty. Business again, Matt? Well, I was looking for Ben Rourke. He isn't here. He left about an hour ago. Some of his boys came after him. Matt, I... I waited for you last night. I worked, Kitty. All night? Yeah. There's a bad feeling in the air, Matt. What is it? What's going to happen? I wish I knew. They called all the soldiers from Sea Troop back to Fort Dodge this afternoon. I hear they're planning to move out tonight. I hope not. There's been a lot of homesteaders in here drinking today. That's unusual for them. What's going to happen, Matt? <laughs> the bloodiest mess you've ever seen. And I don't know any way of stopping it. If I'd only found Jalisco Pete before they killed him, now I got nothing to go on. Jalisco came in here last night, late, after you'd gone. What? Huh? Well, why didn't you let me know? There wasn't time, Matt. He heard he was wanted and he left right away. His friends with him. Friends? What friends? Oh, I'd never seen him before. I think Pete had known him in the Pecos country. 
They're all pretty drunk. How many were with him, Kitty? Three, I guess. One of them was named Red Dudley. Red Dudley. And one called himself Tulsa Jim. They kept talking about the Circle Bar yeah, B brand. it might be. It might be. They could have ridden in last night ahead of the herd to look up Pete and then they... Oh, Marshal. Say, you better come on outside here if you want to stop a lynching. Coming, Doc. Be careful, Matt. Be careful. What is it, Doc? It's Ben Rourke and some of the cattle ranchers. They caught themselves an Indian, and they're going to string him up. I doubt it. Let us be clear of this, Matt. We know what we're doing. I hope so, Ben. Who have you got here? One of the murdering skunks who wiped out the Thompsons. Any objections? I might work up some, Ben. What's your name, fella? He won't talk to you. He hasn't opened his mouth. Look, fella, as an Indian, you're a ward of the government. I'm a U.S. Marshal. I represent the government. I'm here to protect you. Now, what's your name? Keith Doxwa. Work hard. Good man. No kill. What makes them think you did? Say kill people. No kill. He pleads not guilty, Ben. Sure he does. And maybe he can explain why we caught him two miles from my ranch house. Is that reservation? What was he doing there? Yeah. Come on, ask him. Ask him. Mr. Rourke? Maybe I can tell you what he was doing. What? Ezra Hawkins. One side, if you don't mind. You let me through here, please. Let, let him stand. Thank you. We got tired of waiting, Marshal. We come on into town. Maybe that was a mistake, Hawkins. Maybe. You have to play it the way you see it. Look, mister, let's have it. What's this all about? I'm a homesteader, Mr. Rourke. Well, I accept your apology. <laughs> Weren't no apology. I just wanted you to know who those hundred men across the street were. And they all got guns. A hundred, huh? Well, there's 30 of us, so the odds aren't bad. What's on your mind? This Indian's been working for us, Mr. Rourke. Tracking down fence cutters. Maybe that's why you caught him within two miles of your house. Got the nerve to come out and say what you mean, homesteader. You bet I have, fence cutter. All right, hold it. Now, you're covered, Ben, and you too, Hawkins. This play's gone far enough. Not giving a man a chance to draw, Matt? Not this time, Ben. All right, Katoxa, climb off that horse and get over here behind me. Move slow and stay out of the line of fire. You men... Either side makes a move. Ben and Hawkins will be the first to get it. You understand? Doc, take us in into your office. Oh, sure, sure. Right away, man. Well, Matt, what's the next step? You can't keep us here with our hands in the air forever. I don't intend to. I got one of the murderers locked up in jail. I want you two to come along and listen to his statement, but leave the questions to me, all right? It's just fine with me, Marshal. Sure show, Matt. Good. Come on. Chester? Chester? Looks kind of deserted, Matt. He may have gone back to the cells to see. Chester? Move on, Joe. Ben Hawkins. What's the matter, Matt? Here, I'll get that gag off of him. You cut the ropes, Ben. Right. All right, Chester, here we go. Easy now. There. What happened, Chester? Oh, they slipped in and got the drop on me, Mr. Dillon. Took Red Dudley with him. There was two of them, not more than 20 minutes ago. Who were they? Did you know them? Nope. Circle Bar B boys, I think. They slugged me and thought I was out, but I heard them talking. They were all in with Pete on the Thompson killing. Yeah, I know. And they killed Pete, too. They was afraid you'd make him talk. The question now is, where are they? I know where. The Arkansas rooms. The Arkansas, huh? They planned to hole up there till it got dark. Maybe they've gone by now, though. Maybe not. Want some help, Matt? No, thanks, Ben. It's my job, mine and Chester's. Come on, Chester, let's go. The room and house is all dark, Mr. Dill. That doesn't mean a thing. Watch the windows. That's you, Dylan. Drop behind that water trough here. Use your carbine. It's more accurate. Yes, sir. All right, Dudley. 
Come on out. You're under arrest. Come and get it. Fire at the flashes, Chester. That came from the side window, Mr. Dillon. And, and the one, there's somebody behind the other corner. So... Yeah, there was. Break the front of the building, Chester. Yes, sir. I got one. He's hanging out the window. Yeah, it's two down. And Dylan, one... hold your fire. I give up. All right, come on out. Be careful, Mr. Dillon. It may be a trick. It's up to him. Come on out, Dudley. Well, hurry it up. I'm coming. I got a, I got a bullet in my leg. I can't hurry very fast. You, you got me all wrong. Watch it. He's you... drawing. Ah! Wrong, Chester. He started to. See if you can find the doctor. And get him to help you pack these things over to the jail. Yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Dillon. Matt? Are you all right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right, Ben. Had a clean sweep, huh? Looks that way. Well, bullets are cheaper than rope. I guess so. Ben? You and your boys aren't murderers like Red Dudley, but this business of fence cutting can lead to a range war, too. Like it or not, Homesteading's here to stay. There's more of them coming in on every train. I know all that. Those cattlemen built this country, Matt. A few more years now, they'll have us fenced out of it. Times change, Ben. There's range still left out west, New Mexico, Arizona. Yes, I know. Some of us have been thinking about it. Matt, they'll fence you out, too, you know. Yeah, I guess they will. <laughs> well, when that time comes, I'll move on. If I'm still around. Farms and families. Next thing they'll do is set up courts and bring the law in here. Law's here now, Ben. In Dodge City, I'm the law. <laughs> Gunsmoke, under the direction of Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was especially written for Gunsmoke by Les Crutchfield, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Featured in tonight's cast were Harry Bartell, Lou Krugman, and Georgia Ellis, with Jack Crucian, Barney Phillips, Vivi Janis, and Johnny McGovern. Parley Bear is Chester, and Howard McNair is Doc. Join us again next week as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke. Jungle Legacy is the name of tonight's adventure with Tarzan. Listen as Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, faces a band of unscrupulous men who seek a uranium deposit in Tarzan's realm, through which they hope to rule the world. Don't miss Jungle Legacy tonight, when most of these same CBS radio stations bring you Tarzan. It's packed with thrills, packed with action, packed with tense atmosphere. This is Roy Rowan speaking. Remember, 